Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to fire up this benzene burner, benzene cooker for the first time, which I made a video. My previous video was about unpacking this. And I noticed it was, see here, 11 20 marks, East German marks, which it cost at that time. So let's put that away like this. As you know, I have to do that behind the camera. So let's be right back. So back again. I do have a fire extinguisher sitting next to me. So I hope that uh, nothing will go wrong, but maybe it will. I don't know. You and me are the first to find it out. So let's unstrap this. It's a bit old, everything. Take it out. Yes, 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 yes. Got to learn to do that in the camera. Both, both paint that goes away. And now we have that thingy here. So I will want to use one of these just because if benzene drips over, we will be safe a bit more. I hope, I guess. Oh, you see the wicks inside there now? Ah, oh, damn. There they are. You see them lightly. Nevertheless, let's put benzene in, in there. There, these damn children safe. Ooh. Okay. Fill it, I don't know, half. Oh, I guess that's where. And this thing comes in handy. Let's remove the dirt. That should be sufficient, I hope. Like this. And then, oh yeah, that works. Nope, too much. No, not too much. That's okay. That dripping all over, not that nice. Ooh, chaos is starting. Oh. Put that far, far away. Not that it ignites itself. There is a key for that, I remember, where we can fasten it with. Oh yes, of course, put it on with that in next to it, makes total sense. Okay, we gotta fasten this. Yeah, that's all right. And then, and then we have to put some benzene in here to let it soak. Well, I don't know if that's so easy. Let me quickly find some syringe. Well then, found no syringe, but I found this and that should be sufficient enough to actually put some benzene in there. And we should be able to put it in here, Whoop. take it out like this. 
Oh, one more. Yes, that's filled. Put that aside. And now, and now comes the truth. Okay, fire extinguisher is ready. I put that on. If something happens, well, it happens. That burns. And we should wait till it is actually burned out and then turn the lever. And then I have a pen here to actually put it on top and check it out. Remember we could put these around. Now everything is burning. Oh no, it went out. Hmm. Let's try it if it works. I was too. Oh, yes. Did you see it? Well, actually you couldn't because my fat fingers were in the way. We have to do that again because it didn't start. Let's do it again. can tell by the color of that that it was the first time it was started. Ooh. It's apparently supposed to be like that. I'm not sure but in the old days safety was secondary I guess. Well not that secondary but you know, I turn that slowly. Doesn't work. Hmm. Burn. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Don't go out again. Hmm. All right. I'll try it another time. <laughs> Okay, it runs. I'm not touching it.
No, it's actually no black thingies, black, how is it called? Dust, smoke. Oh, it works. Let's take that away. Put that on there. You see? Let me let me adjust you. It's actually working. Let me take the pan and put some water on top of it. And see if it boils it. And what happens? Well, for me it's interesting if there will be black stuff here around the edges from the bending. Oh, it's, it's burning. Let me show you. Actually, I have to take it off. It gets pretty hot. Can I not show you more? Now you see, and it cooks the water already. And that thing is a distribution cap is quite, quite red hot. Now I put it on full power. Ooh, what's burning there? Oh, some old stuff. Well, heats it up quite nicely. From what I see, there are no black markings. Oh, but we will check that when the water is boiled. Yeah, I guess it works. Oh, damn. That key is hot again. Smells like old stuff heated up, like a, an old heater, which you turn on like that. It smells paint drying. That's boiling, so I will shut it off before it gets out of hand. <laughs> right, I put you down for safety reasons. So, turned off, I guess, 
if we turn that around, I can put it on top of there. It will burn, it will not burn. No, I won't do that. Ah, I put it on the floor. Nice. So, there you have it. A working stove. Let me cool that down and I will, we will look at the, at the inside. Ah, and in the meantime, I waited and put the water away and wanted to check with you what it did to the pan. And it actually made these burn marks from the benzene, but as you see, that's really not an issue. I thought there will be a bigger issue that it will be all burn in and such, but it didn't. So that's quite pleasing to me. And now I hope yeah, it's cold to the touch. Take that apart. And oh, wow, that's still hot. Oh, I guess it's made to be that hot. Do I have a thermostat here? Just a second. Yes, I do. It's 50 degrees, all right. The top is colder. In this room, it's the garage, it's 12 degrees right now. Oh, I think that also heats up a lot. Well, it's it must be. Otherwise, it cannot burn. Well, I really want to check now if I can open the valve and ignite that again. Let me check. Oh, doesn't want to open. Ah, no. Also, it's hot. It doesn't want to ignite. Hmm. That's strange. I thought it maybe will. Because of the temperature of that... of that thingy. The pot in the bottom. Hmm. Anyhow, how will I ignite that again? I will try now, just for the kicks, so that you know and I know what will expect me in the future. did not work as expected. Let me clean the nozzle then. We have a nice tool for this. And you see it's all burned up right now. Ooh, it doesn't get in there. Wow, I didn't expect that. Ah, all right, it's clean, it goes in there. All right. Another try. Noting, hmm. I will try one more time and then put more benzene in.
So three times charm. Hmm. I guess if you go by motorbike, you can put it on the motor when you just stopped. Will be still warm. Let's have it build up some pressure. I guess the benzene is already empty, I put in there. Hmm, nice experience, but now you know as much as I know. I will test around and give an update on these because I have another, let's say, project for this. I guess the benzene is just empty. Turn it off. Yeah, not much more in there. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If yes, please subscribe, comment something if you want, if you don't want. If you subscribe, that will be enough or give it a like so that this video or my channel can grow a bit. You know, even if you don't watch, you can have my subscription still going. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye bye.